guys, welcome back to the channel, A Moment with Amisha, where I help you to walk in faith, grow in wisdom, and live for Jesus. Thank you guys for stopping back by again. If you are brand spanking new to this channel, please do your girl a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification while you're at it so you do not miss another upload from your girl. All right, you guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about comparison, right? Um, it's the, the title of this video is called Stop Comparing Your Journey journey is different, right? That is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. You know, we've all been there. We've all been in that place in our life where we see our, our friend, we see a family member who is just excelling and just, you know, living out their purpose, living out their calling. They just, they just have it all together or so it, or so it seems, right? And so we begin to take what we see, what we hear, you know, and we begin to compare our lives to their journey. Um, but I am here to share an encouraging word with you guys because I myself have been in those shoes. Sometimes I fall into those crevices and I, but I have to get myself back up out of that. Um, but I'm going to share some encouraging words with you all today um, to help you navigate those times when you start to compare your life, especially when your call is different and um, your journey and your path is different, right? Um, I want to give you a little story about myself. Um, I used to be a full time teacher, a full time music teacher. I taught um, uh, about five years full time and then, uh, oh well, part, about two years part time and then three years full time. And then I did some subbing in between and all of that um, or afterwards, I'm sorry. And then, you know, tried some other things and just then some other things and then some other things. And so I've had a long <laughs> work history, right? And, um, but I want to go back to my time and my years with teaching. So it really wasn't a plan for myself to teach long-term, like out the, out the door, straight out of college. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to teach very long because I already knew it really wasn't what I wanted to do. But I think the pressures of like, oh, I gotta make, I gotta make this work. I gotta make money. I gotta be successful. And this is the more practical route to take versus, you know, embracing the creative that I was. And so, you know, I, I went into the teaching field and while there were certain parts of it that I did enjoy, I love children, oh my gosh. And there were certain parts that I did enjoy, but I just never felt passionate about it. I never felt like, you know, as people say, you know, it just feels like the right thing. Like God has called me to do this and it just felt so right. I never had that feeling. I felt like it was a job. Like it was just a job that I had to do and you know, to make money. So teaching just was not for me. And you know, it took a minute for me to really accept that. You know, there were moments that I just cried out to God, like, God, why can't I just like this? Why can't it just be right for me? Why can't, you know, why do I feel so, you know, unfulfilled like I did not like feeling that way and, and you know you see your other teacher friends and just excel and it they're just loving it but here you are you're just like this is not it so you know years after I walked away from teaching you know I went to pursue some other things I did some acting here and there and while I enjoyed that there were just certain parts of it I felt like I didn't believe enough in myself and so I didn't do as well as I probably could have um, during those times that I really you know thought this was the avenue that I wanted to go down. And so I tried different other things, you know, different jobs and, and it's just never, it was just never fulfilling to me. And finally, you know, I really had to just, you know, sit down and just take inventory of my life and, and just really, you know, press into the Lord too. And ask him to just reveal like, okay, God, what do you want me to do? What am I called to do? What is my purpose? And oftentimes when I would do this, I, I, I did it several times, right? I would always come up with the same list of things that I, I was good at, I enjoyed doing, it made me feel happy while I was doing it. So I was just like, you know what? Okay, so why am I not doing these things? So, you know, it, it, took, it took me a minute to get to where I am today. And I'm still in that journey of really processing and putting into place where I really need to be. Um, as a creative, right? And as, um, you know, a person who, you know, wants to share the share the word of, of God, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm still in that space where I'm, I'm putting myself into position. I'm allowing the Lord to put myself into position. So, you know, we don't always just have these things figured out. And I just want to encourage someone who's watching where you feel like, man, that sounds a little bit like me. Like I've been, I never felt like I fit into these boxes where, 
you know, people wanted me to be this certain type of thing. And in my heart, I just knew that just wasn't it. So I just want to encourage you who are watching, you know, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. God just has a different path and journey for you. So stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Every, um, Madeline, Ashley, and Jennifer, you're not them. You are you. And God has a plan for your life, right? I want to read to you a scripture from Galatians. Galatians chapter 6, uh, verses 4 through 5. It says, uh, pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done. And you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. For we are each responsible for our own conduct. So I love that verse because it just it it definitely makes you understand that look, you should not be looking to the left and the right and seeing what everybody else is doing. Pay careful attention to your own work, what you're supposed to be doing, right? For we're each responsible for our own conduct. We're each responsible for the work that we do. And I I, I think that's just so important because we can really, you know get so get to get in a place of a pity and depress and, and and get depressed some of us have have i've definitely been in those spaces where i just like i feel like i'm just i'm just missing out on life because i can't figure out what i'm supposed to do but it's because i'm worrying about i'm looking at everybody else and what they're doing and it's just like i'm not doing that so there's something wrong with me so i want to encourage whoever's watching this if you feel this way if you've ever felt like you know, your family wanted you to do a certain thing, maybe to be a teacher, maybe to be a lawyer or a doctor, but you, you've in your heart, there's something else that you want to do. That stuff isn't fulfilling. It may make you, may bring home a bag, may bring you a check, but in, inside, God, y'all, God wants us to be happy. He wants us to be joyful, not just clocking in and out. Like that's, that's not life. That's not life. And we shouldn't live our lives for others either. We should not live our lives. As much as I love my family and friends, I'm never going to live for just them and what their vision of me is. That's not it. I want to do whatever God's will is for my life. That is what I want to do. That is what I want to pursue. So if you have a mom, cousin, friend, daddy, whoever it is that is just, you know, trying to get you to do something that's not really what you want to do. And you know that that's not your calling. You know that's not your purpose. It's okay, just, you know what? Figure out what it is that you wanna do and do that. I wanna read a scripture that really speaks to what I'm saying about um, not living for other people. You should be living for your, living for, for Jesus, for one, and doing whatever, whatever it is that he has specifically called you to do. Uh, Galatians 1 and 10 says, obviously I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. So y'all, this scripture tells us, it confirms that we are not to live our life for other people. We're not trying to win the approval of our mama, cousin, daddy now. That's, that's not the goal. Our goal is to be a servant of Christ and to do what his will is, whatever his will is for our lives. So if you don't know exactly what it is that you're called to do, and you know, t the, you, you think the time, the, the clock is ticking, time is going by, and I still haven't yet figured it out. I want you to just take a deep breath, relax. I want you to pray and fast. If you don't not familiar with fasting is, there's lots of YouTube videos on that. But I want you to do a fast, I want you to pray, and I want you to seek the Lord like never before. Like never before. And ask him to reveal to you what that is. And, and as you're doing that, take a take an inventory of your gifts and your talents. I've done that plenty of times. And like I said, all my list, every single time, it's the same stuff. And I'm like, okay, so why am I not doing this? A lot of my struggles with, with not really jumping into what I wanted to do or really wanted to do was just not feeling confident. You know, I had, I had so many insecurities. I let the enemy play with my mind and think, you can't do that. Or, or, or recalling things that I, I remember hearing about myself um, from other people and, and making me feel like, yeah, they said I couldn't do it. I guess I can't do it. You know, so it's just, you know, if you see if you see in your list of things that you want to do and you know that this is something that you that makes you feel good about yourself, you pray on it and ask the Lord to help you to work on that, to cultivate that. And so you can really do that, you know, 
full time and you know as an actual career and purpose so proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6 says trust in the lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take i love that verse i love it i love it i love it because a lot of times we you know we we get so much and try we get so caught up in trying to figure things out for ourselves and sometimes we just really need to trust in the lord we need to really um depend on him and 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 and, and ask him to show us himself what it is that we're, we're to do because sometimes we just don't know we just don't have the answer so we need to trust in the lord with all of our hearts and not depend on trying to figure things out all the time right and seek his will i love that part seek his will in all that you do and he will show you which path to take he's going to show you what you need to do he may not give you all the steps up front like sis this is what you need to do boom 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 it may not be that way. So don't be surprised if you still feel like, oh, I still don't have all the answers. It's okay, but he's gonna at least get you where you need to be. And I feel like that's where I am now. I may not have every single step laid out before me, but I'm finally at a point in my life where I've embraced like, this is this is my calling, being a creative. You know, there's some other things that I'm, I'm pushing and, and pursuing too. And you know, I know I'm in the right space now. And even though I may not have every step mapped out, I can trust, I can trust in the Lord with all my heart and that as I seek his will in all that I do, he will show me which path to take. He will show me how to navigate this path. And that is what I encourage you all to do, to seek the Lord, to trust in the Lord and let him guide you, let him lead you. I encourage you to just believe in yourself, speak affirmations over yourself, speak scripture over yourself. You know, you have to stir yourself up because if you just allow this world to just, dang, speak in your ear and just you know the enemy is running those thoughts in your minds but I can't do this you can't do this what you're, you're going to you're going to feel so defeated and I've been in those spaces I'm speaking from experience I've been in those spaces and y'all that's not life you know it's not life getting up going to a job doing something that you hate doing something that you don't enjoy that's not what God has called us to do. He's called us to be joyful, be joyful always. That's what his word says. So we have to live that out, right? I don't want to get to the, you know, the end of my life and meet the Lord and, and he's looking at me, well, you sure didn't do it. I know he wouldn't say it that way, but I'm just saying just, I didn't, I did not use all the giftings that he's given me to really make a full life. I don't want him to look at me and, 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 and you know, say that to me or, or it's, express that to me in some kind of way you know I want to say Lord you've gifted me here you gifted me here and this is what I did with it and I you, and I want to feel happy and pleased about what I've done and I want you to I want you to have that same mindset I want you to live a full life for the Lord not living it out for mom and them living it out for you and Jesus and to be happy, to be fulfilled. That is my prayer for you that you will, if you're listening and you're just, you know, you're in this, in this space, I will encourage you to seek the Lord, um, um, seek his, seek his will for your life so that you may live a fulfilling and joyful life, right? We only get one on this side of earth anyway. So why not live it to its fullest? Thank you guys for spending a moment with Amisha. I pray that you would like this video. Uh, comment down below and even sh share this video if you care. I would love for you to do that. Don't forget to subscribe because I have so many more different videos uh, coming your way and I don't want you to miss out. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.